Okay, so this is a quick uh, crash course on how to do a proper score sheet during a singles badminton match. Um, this is what the score sheet looks like. Player one, player two, court number, umpire's name, that would be your name. We don't, we don't normally have a service judge. We expect the scorekeeper to fill this time in when the match actually starts. It's not necessary. We don't normally use it. Um, now let's go to the scoring section. <clears throat> These would already be pre-filled. The first thing you want to do with the players is to figure out who's going to start serving. Um, you can flip a coin or you can uh, toss the shot and see which side uh, it's pointing at to figure out who gets to choose first. Um, I believe most of the players know what that process is already, but uh, we need to do it. And let's say Frank choose to serve, so we put a S here and we want to do this before the match starts okay so now we're ready to go and you say ladies and gentlemen this is all the information will be here but regardless um, you say what you want to say and you say Frank Frank to serve you can put R here, but since it's singles, you don't really have to. The other player will be receiving. So you want to say Frank to serve, Maggie to receive, Lavo play. And they, they start playing. Let's say Frank wins the first point. 1-0. Frank wins another point. 2-0. Maggie wins the next point. 1-2. Maggie wins the next two points. 2-2. 3-2. Frank wins the next point. 3-0. Looking at the score sheet, we can tell the score by looking at the last number from each uh, from each row. So right now the score is three three, and uh, you can tell who is next to serve because Frank's score is most to the right. Okay, so three. This three is to the right of this three, so Frank must be serving. Frank wins another point. Frank wins another point. And keep going, keep going. It goes until eventually you get here. I'm gonna skip all the stuff in the middle. Let's say we get to a point where it is 17. This is 16. So what, something happened. Whatever happened in the middle of the match, we don't care. We got here. So right now we know it is 18, 16, Frank to serve. Let's say Frank loses this point. So you want to move down here. So now it's 17, 18. Maggie to serve. Frank wins. You keep going like that. So let's finish this match. Frank wins 21, 17. 
So what you do now is you call the match. You do that. And another thing you do is put 2117 here. And you do it. Stuck. You don't, we don't want we don't want to use so this this row, the second row is dead, right? Um, we will use the third row to start the um, second game, and Frank will be serving. And uh, that's how you do a score sheet.